Okay, I, I thought uh, tonight's game, that, that's the best defensive performance that we did all year. Um, I thought consistently we didn't have a great offensive game. You know, Matt shoots one for ten. Um, but from a defensive standpoint, I thought from the, from the very beginning to the end, we did a, a, a really good job of keeping the ball above the foul line, getting back in transition, making it really difficult for them to, to score in the half court. I, I thought we did you know, a, a much better job than we did in game one uh, where they just drill, you know, drove it right down our throats. And I thought you know, from a defensive standpoint, it, it was terrific. From an offensive standpoint, the, the good thing was we didn't allow our offense to affect our defense. Um, we didn't play very well offensively, um, but I thought Amadi, that's the best game that he's played all in his career, 13 and 10. I thought Adris was another guy that was the unsung hero. Um, you know, and Courtney hit that big fall away um, with whatever, a minute and a half left in the game. And we finished the game, we made our foul shots, um, but we won the game defending. And, um, and that's what I'm most proud of. And it's something that, you know, we struggled at, at times this year, um, you know, when we don't play great offensively. Um, but I thought um, our guys really connected, were connected tonight and um, committed and did a great job on the defensive end. And that's why we're sitting here with a with our 21st victory. Mark, is it encouraging to not be at your best and win a game like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, give Duquesne credit. You know, uh, Coach Dan Brett's done a really good job. Those kids play extremely hard. Uh, they had a good game plan coming in. Um, we didn't play our best, um, but you're right. Um, you know, it, it helps having a great crowd having a great student section, that, that helps us. Um, but when you don't play your best and you play your, you know, whatever, C basketball and still win, that, that's a, a credit to our guys. But give Duquesne credit, they, they played really well. We knew it was going to be a tough game coming into, the, into this game. On a night where uh, Matt certainly was great to an extent, home checked a little bit, how, how big is it? 29 for 33 in that first half? It was huge. You know, that's, you know, other than the defensive part of the, of the game, that's, that's why we won, you know, making 29 to 33. And um, like I said, Amadi and, and Adris and Courtney were, you know, main guys. And, you know, Jay hit, you know, Jay is Jay. You know, without, without them, we don't win. But um, I thought our role guys really did a good job of stepping up and, and um, being productive for us. You've taken care of a lot of teams in this building where maybe won a little more comfortably. Is there something to take out of the fact that you win a game where you sort of survive like that and what that can do? Yeah, I don't know about survive is the right word, but um, you know, every game is 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 a game in itself. Um, you know, down there, you know, we were lucky to win. You know, it took Jay scoring forty points to beat him. Um, you know, so anytime you can win in the Atlantic Ten, it's 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 a good night. Um, but like I said, we won on the defensive end. Um, you know, we didn't play great offensively. Even though you look at our numbers, you know, we shoot forty six percent, which is which is decent. I thought Duquesne did a good job too. We didn't get much in, in, in the open court. They took care of the basketball. We didn't get a lot of points off of turnovers, even though we won by one. Um, but it was more of a half court game um, at, at both ends. And we wanted it to be a half court game, you know, defensively. We just didn't want it to be a half court game offensively. And they got us in the half court. And part of it, you know, is probably me calling too many plays. Um, but we were struggling offensively. And we, you know, we, uh, I needed them, to, you know, to go from eight to B. Uh, how important is it to finish, you know, just moving ahead already? Uh, you have three games left. Yeah. Finish strong. I mean, you're right in the thick of it there. Uh, obviously, try and finish, you know, second, obviously. first. Yeah, we want to win. You know, every game right now is like game seven. You know, we, we, we've got to play with, the, with that sense of urgency, um, you know, every game. Because, you know, 21 games isn't enough. You know, 11 games in the Atlantic 10 isn't enough. Um, you know, our goal is to, to try to win, all, win them all. And, Hopefully we can do that, but every game is a game seven. We, we, we that's the mentality that we need. And um, you know, even though we struggled today offensively, I thought they had that sense of urgency on the defensive end. Twenty nine fouls in the second half. Mark, did that kind of dis disrupt what you're trying to? Yeah, do? it was more of a half court game. You know, yeah, it was, it was a more of a half court game, and you know, there was some you know fouls called. You know, and it, like I say, I, I never want to be a referee, even though they make a lot of money. I, I would never want to be a referee. It's just a hard job, um, you know, and no one's happy, um, but it's, you know, whatever that was, 26 and 19, and if, I, if I have it right, it's 45 fouls. Uh, that, that's a lot of fouls, but I, I was watching a game uh, today where it, it was like 50-some fouls, you know, so um, it is, you know, last night I think it was 50, I don't know what game I was watching, uh, and it was like 55 fouls. Oh, the uh, LaSalle uh, URI game, it was, it was crazy. Um, but it's, 
you got to play the way the referees are calling it, and you know, and all those fouls. It doesn't make it a pretty game, um, but you got to you got to you got to play the way the game's being refereed and and go with it. AJ, uh, it, it was pretty tough out there. They, it seemed like they were they wanted to put pressure on the guards. They did a good job of that. Uh, what was it that made it more difficult? Um, I would just say probably the help side. Uh, Obviously, going into the game, you know they're gonna try to take away the the, the two guards. Um, they did a good job of clogging the paint, forcing turnovers, and I think we just got to be a little more unselfish and move the ball. Coach, to expand on the fouls, uh, foul shootings, Amadi and Courtney have really improved from the non-conference in that area. How important has that been to the progression of the team and, and winning ball games? Twenty-five percent of all points are scored from the foul line, and. So it's really, really important. You know, if you go to the foul line and, and you go for two, that's that's a turnover. You know, so when you get to the foul line, you know, you got to make them. And, and, and Courtney and, and Amadi have done a tremendous job. I think both of them are over eighty percent from the line now in the Atlantic Ten, and that's that's important, especially for a big guy. Um, you know, who, who's going to get fouled inside? You you can't go. You know, you you want to go two for two, but you can't go zero for two. And, and Amadi did a, a tremendous job tonight, and he's doing. You know, Amadi's really improved. And, one of the reasons why we're having some success is, you know, he, he's able to get some baskets inside and, and defend a, a bigger guy, and you know, he, he's he's come along, and um, hopefully he'll continue to improve. But making foul shots is win or win, you know, 29 um, points from the foul line. It's, you know, that, that was over, you know, whatever. That's a third. Right? Jay, uh, this was asked earlier uh, to Mark in a game where you guys weren't at the very top or were really kind of near it offensively. You still figure out a way to win. How important is that as you you, you finish off the season here? You want to finish strong. Uh, I think that's just that's been the story of our team all year. Um, we haven't always played well on offense, and we haven't always defended well, but we found a way to win. And uh, guys have stepped up. Marty had a double double. Um, Bort, I don't think he's scored single digits <laughs> in the last I don't know how many games. So as long as those uh, Drees got eleven and eight, these numbers I didn't even see yet. So. If guys keep stepping up like that, I think we'll be tough to beat. AJ, it's probably your last game in front of the student section here in the RC. Do you have anything to say about the support from us? Man, it's a it's a crazy, crazy environment, man. This this place right here is special to me. Um, it'll always have a special place. And the students, the, the, the boost that they give the team, they don't even understand uh, what that does for the team just when they show up and they get as loud as they can. So me personally, I hate when they're quiet. So. I always try to make plays, get them on their feet, and you know they're a real game changer.